Hey everyone, it's the How To Mac, and on today's episode, I'm going to talk about how to convert an image to sound um, using MetaSynth 5.1. It's a uh, image synthesizer. Uh, you can also, it's also a sequencer. It does spectral analysis. It's uh, a, it does pretty much all the same things that uh, Adobe Audition does in terms of spectral analysis. You can also check out Audio Paint and Sonic Visualizer. What I'm working with right now is MetaSynth 5.1. It's the demo version. You can go to uisoftware.com slash MetaSynth and download a free trial. So once you downloaded your free trial, you're going to want to make sure you select Image Synth and then the disk and select Open a New Picture. And once you import the image, there's just a crazy amount of things that you can do. It has both uh, single and multi-oscillating wavetables, granular syncing, and uh, customizable filters. So there's a ton of stuff. I could never get to everything that this program does in one video, so I, I'm going to try to keep it short. So here's a quick example of what this picture might sound like. Yeah, it's pretty wild when you actually hear a picture being played. Um, the image is obviously being played from left to right. The color of the picture is used to determine the stereo placement. So green represents uh, all the sounds that are coming out of the right stereo. Red represents the left. And yellow, right in between, represents uh, all the sounds that are centrally panned. The actual brightness, the magnitude of the brightness actually determines the volume of the sounds. Now you can choose different instruments, different uh, pitches, you can change everything about each one of the sounds, but essentially the overall sound is coming from the brightness, color, and contrast of the image. Now I'm just going to flip this image over and see how it sounds when it's played upside down and I change the instrument over So I guess I'll take the time right now to uh, kind of show you what some of the uh, different buttons do right now that's affecting pitch. And this is where you choose your different instruments. This is the wave synth where you can actually edit your instruments and change the vibrato or change the delay. Over here, this is your frequency map that uh, determines your master tuning. Uh, play around with that. You can actually get some pretty cool sounds by actually custom tuning. You can also use the uh, Spectrum Analyzer. It will turn some of your image uh, green. See here, right there. And this will, I'll play the image right now. You can hear what it sounds like before, or with the Spectrum Analysis, and then what, what, uh, what it sounds like after. So I'm going to play around here with some of the uh, image map frequencies. Right now I'm trying to find an instrument I want to play. You know, just the, uh, the pitch right now. Now, now this is where you adjust your uh, image map frequency. We'll go to a whole tone. Back to the Pythagorean. So once you get the hang of it and kind of find out where all the buttons are at, um, then you can just start playing around and, and uh, painting live and just uh, keep looping your picture and uh, elaborating on it so let's uh, see if I can't make a soundscape right here on the spot so I think I need to lighten it up and add a little echo to it maybe some blurring so you get that smooth edge
and as I'm watching this, I realize that I misspoke earlier. That little Y up in the uh, right-hand corner, that's actually the key. That's not pitch. Pitch is actually determined by the vertical height. So when I'm moving this down or when I'm moving this up, that's what's actually changing the pitch. Yeah, well, that was fun. Um, this is the How To Mac. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment box below. I try to get back to people as soon as possible. Uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.